Victoria here from GoalieTrainingPro.com and today I want to talk about your groins. Um, so I, I just actually sent out like a little Twitter thing a while ago um, with just the smallest snippet from a research article I read on sports hernia. And one of the things they found in athlete hockey players with sports hernia was an imbalance of their abductors to their adductors. So I just send it out like, hey, if you want to reduce your risk of sports hernia, um, consider strengthening your adductors a little more. So your adductors are your groin muscles, your abductors are sort of your skating, pushing muscles. Um, sports hernia is kind of a funny thing, it's a bit of a catch-all term. So we have our umbilical and our inguinal hernias, which um, are actually protrusions through the abdominal wall of underlying tissue. Um, so there's something that, um, that they can actually assess and diagnose and say, yeah, we see what's going on, this is what's causing the problem, we're going to fix it. So we'll poke that tissue back through and sew up um, that abdominal wall, the area there. With a sports hernia, um, it often is pain um, in the lower abdominals or the groin that doesn't really respond to um, traditional physiotherapy treatments um, and isn't really diagnosed, like you can't sort of see or diagnose that there's some tissue protruding. So often they will do surgery, but often sort of an exploratory surgery, let's go and see what we see and, and what we can fix. So there are lots of different things that could they could find when they go ahead and, and um, explore that and improve it. So it's a little bit of a catch-all term. It's not like saying, oh, I tore my ACL. You know, that's one thing. There's nothing else that could be either you did or you didn't. Um, umbilical hernia, it's either you got it or you don't. Sports hernia, it could be a few different things that are giving you that trouble. Nonetheless, um, here are a few things that we can work on to improve it. Hockey players, you know this, um, you're tight in your hip flexors, and that goes for skaters or goalies. Um, so if we think about skating stride but being tight here, um, one thing it's going to do is pull our pelvis forward. So already we're putting our abdominals um, on a stretch in a lengthened position. But then when we try to stride and we're tight here, we're also going to kind of dynamically with every stride sort of pull, pull, pull on the attachments of those abdominal muscles. So that can be one issue um, where we can have a problem and sometimes that can present as a problem maybe with an adductor strain or a groin strain or sometimes it can um, present itself as a problem in a, a lower abdominal strain. Other thing is um, in skating just by virtue of habit um, we do a lot more lateral pushing than obviously we do lateral pulling with our legs and so and even some training programs, some trainers, you know, oh, well, you need those muscles to skate, so we got to really work those, work those, build them up. Sometimes we forget about the muscles on the inside of the leg, muscles, you know, we, we sort of don't, oh, you don't use those. Well, we do use those, and those would help sort of balance out um, and stabilize that hip and that system. So here are a couple um, stretches and strengthening exercises that you should include in your off-ice training so that you can reduce your risk of sports hernia. These injuries happen and, and for different reasons, but if we can add a few little exercises to reduce our risk, bonus. For this first exercise, um, I want to get um, a little bit of stretch under load on my, on my groins. So I am using those pushing muscles, um, but I'm moving into a lengthened position. And then when I come back this way, I'm using the muscles on the inside here to sort of help decelerate me. Um, but what I'm going to also add is a little rotation and a reach away each time to, again, not just lengthen the adductors, but also lengthen the abdominals, both the rectus abdominis and the obliques. So that's a little hip shift. Then I'm going to stay with the cable column. Toe out and bring their heel in 
And that they're trying to use their hamstring to do that as opposed to their adductor. Uh, we use the half kneeling groin stretch a lot. Um, but again, let's take it so that we're putting those adductors on a stretch, but then let's take it through a little rotation up and away. And from different postures, so from a little bit forward to a nice tall. Let's work those different angles. Call this exercise a plate pull. So I just put a plate on a towel, and then I pull it toward me, feet together, take a step, pull it toward me, feet together, take a step, pull it toward me, feet together. And I'll do about 10 in each direction. So it's a nice closed kinetic chain way to um, work those adductors. You have to keep a little bit of pressure down on the towel as you draw it together. I use it with my hockey players in the summer, and it seems to... Um, give them a different type of contraction or a different type of fatigue than just the standing cable column. Um, so I think it's worthwhile including in your training programs. Finally, I want to share a little TRX exercise with you. Um, you can also do a really similar thing with um, one foot on the slide board or um, with one foot on the glider disc or even just on like a wood floor. But basically, I'm keeping my weight over this leg. There's a little bit of downward pressure on this foot that's in the TRX, but then it's just going to be a nice squat lateral. So again, we're lengthening here under tension. Um, the big thing is you're not trying to shift your hips, you know, this way um, as a groin exercise like that. That is really hard to um, control the amount of force that's being put through your groins and you could hurt yourself. So the weight really stays over this leg and this foot is just providing a little bit of downward force and a bit of assistance with the exercise. So I just call it a TRX squat lateral. So gang, I hope that gives you a few ideas of different ways that you can strengthen your adductors and stretch your adductors, uh, just as part of a good training program, but also with the purpose of trying to reduce your risk of sports hernias. Um, so this is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com, where my goal is to help 10,000 goalies win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't have uh, the genetic gifts or the natural abilities of your competitors. Happy training.